and what is continuity equation uh, let us discuss the continuity equation in one dimensional first so if you take a pipe and if you take a uh, length particular length delta x and this has got a cross sectional area of capital a and in this region this fluid uh, region fluid enters here and fluid leaves so volume of the this fully uh, fluid element can be written as uh, capital a into delta x that is the length and a is the cross-sectional area and volume of fluid flowing per second can be written as this volume by time across that region is capital V by T this is equal to A into delta X by delta T which can be written as because delta X by delta T can be written as the velocity so this is the velocity of the fluid so Q is equal to A into V and the mass flowing through that region is m dot which is equal to rho into a into v that is area into velocity uh, rho is the density of the fluid so this is can be written rho into q so q is equal to a into v if you take section 1 and section 2 m1 dot can be written as rho1 a1 v1 and m2 dot can be written as rho2 a2 v2 if mass is needs to be considered that means if no uh, fluid is stored inside uh, the pipe between section 1 and 2 then m1 dot should be equal to m2 dot m1 dot is equal to m2 dot so rho 1 a1 v1 is equal to rho 2 a2 v2 if uh, for example usually uh, fluid is incompressible so that means rho is constant in this case area is also constant and so velocity will also be constant so that means rho a v is equal to constant that means uh, whatever mass entering at 1 is leaving at 2. There is no mass stored inside for a steady flow. The mass is, uh, will no, uh, there is no mass storage inside. So for a one dimensional continuation can be written as rho into A into V. This is a simple conservation of mass equation. Rho into A into V is equal to constant. Now let us see the continuity equation in two dimensions. For example, we are taking a region here. Uh, of size delta x and its y dimension is delta y and left side mass is entering that is equal to m dot x and right side the mass leaving is m dot x plus delta x and in y direction mass entering is m dot y and y direction uh, mass leaving is m dot y plus delta y so m dot x plus delta x can be written as m dot x plus rate of change of mass with respect to x into delta x dm dot x by dx into delta x and m dot y plus delta y is equal to m dot y plus dm dot y by dy into delta y and uh, according to conservation of mass equation you can write whatever mass entering in minus whatever mass going out is equal to rate of change of mass inside this control volume or that region so that means you can write m dot x as equal to rho into that is uh, using the one dimensional continuity equation m dot x is equal to rho into a into u here uh, cross sectional area is delta y into 1 we are taking the width of the that region as unity or one meter you can take it like that that is the dimension into this boat that be taken as one so this is the cross sectional area delta y into one into the velocity in the x direction 
and m dot y is equal to rho into delta x into 1 into v. So delta x into 1, that is the cross sectional area, into the velocity in the y direction. And m dot in minus m dot out is equal to m dot x, that is mass entering inside minus mass entering uh, leaving out plus m dot y minus m dot y plus delta y. So m dot in minus m dot out is equal to minus dm dot x by dx into delta x plus minus dm dot y by dy into delta y. Because uh, if you write m dot x plus delta x from here and this is also written into here. If you substitute that you will get this equation m dot in minus m dot out you will get it like this and m dot x you can substitute as uh, rho into delta y into u and m dot y as uh, rho into delta x into v now the uh, equation is kind of uh, so, if you continue with the derivation, m dot in minus m dot out is equal to, you will get minus d by dx, rho into delta y into u into delta x, minus d by dy rho into delta x into v into delta y. So, this is written as minus d by dx rho u into delta y into delta x plus minus d rho v by dy into delta x into delta y. And dm dot control, this is the mass flow rate inside the control volume, dm dot cv by dt is equal to, uh, this d into, so inside the control volume can be written as v, capital V, d, d by dt of rho v. And this control volume of the, uh, volume of the region or the control volume is equal to rho into delta x into delta y. This is equal can be written as d rho by dt into delta x into delta y. So if you simplify, if you use this equation, that is the conservation of mass equation, you will get minus d rho u by dx into delta x delta y minus d rho v by dy into delta x delta y is equal to d rho by dt into delta x delta y. And if you solve this, you will get this equation. And finally, the equation becomes d rho by dt plus d by dx rho u plus d by dy rho v is equal to 0. And in most cases, the fluid is incompressible. That means rho is constant. It can be taken out and d rho by dt is 0. So this can be written as du by dx plus dv by dy is equal to 0. This is for a two-dimensional. For a three dimension, similarly, you can write du by dx plus dv by dy plus dw by d. So, you need to take an additional component in velocity that is equal to d what w. So, this will be equal to 0. So we will do a problem on uh, continuity equation. The problem is the following cases represent the two velocity components that is to det and determine the third component of velocity such that they satisfy the continuity equation. Uh, the first case is u is x square plus y square plus z square and v is equal to x y square minus y z square plus x y. So let us take the first case. So here it is given as uh, x square plus u is equal to x square plus y square plus z square and v is equal to x y square minus y z square plus x y. So in order to satisfy continuity equation you know that dou u by dou x plus dou v by dou y plus dou w by dou z should be uh, equal to 0. 
so that means dou v by dou x is equal to uh, 2x okay. so because uh, we are differentiated with respect to x this y square has no component of x and z square has no component of x so this will become 2x and dou v by dou y will become 2xy minus z square plus x plus dou w by dou z is equal to 0. So dou w by dou z is equal to minus 3x minus 2xy plus z square. So if you integrate both sides, you will get w is equal to minus 3x z minus 2x y z plus z cube by 3 plus a constant. So this is the uh, W uh, component, third component of velocity. Now take the second case. So here V is equal to 2Y square and W is equal to 2XY is it? So you know dou U by dou X plus dou V by dou Y plus dou W by uh, dou Z is equal to 0. So you don't know u so dou u by dou x plus dou v by dou y will become equal to 4y plus uh, see dou w by dou z will become 2xy is equal to 0 so dou u by dou x is equal to minus 4y minus 2xy so if you integrate you will get u is equal to minus 4xy minus x square y plus a constant reciprocal period. So this is the third component u and here uh, first case this is the third component.